Educator for the National Association for Continents. I'm here with Dr. Eric Rogner, Professor of Urology at the Medical University of South Carolina, and we're talking about post-operative care for women. After a woman has had a sling procedure, how long should she experience difficulty emptying the bladder? Leah, today with the, with the uh, types of mid-urethral slings uh, that are generally done, uh, that is uh, slings with uh, synthetic uh, material, uh, the recovery time is, is, is quite short as compared to the other operations uh, that we used to do uh, for stress uh, urinary incontinence. With that, the time to recovery of normal bladder function is actually amazingly quick. Roughly 80 to 90 percent of people have these procedures as same day surgery and then go home the same day without a catheter. Occasionally, patients get admitted uh, uh, for a variety of reasons, anesthetic reasons, and sometimes, again, about 10, maybe 15 percent of the time, uh, individuals have difficulty urinating immediately after the surgery and require a catheter for a day or two. But the rates of urinary retention or, or long-term difficulties uh, with these mid-urethral slings are vanishingly small, sometimes maybe about a 1 or 2 percent chance of of needing a subsequent sling adjustment or incision to improve bladder emptying. How should a woman care for herself after a surgery like this? Can she bathe, swim, and have sexual intercourse? Uh, immediately after the surgery, I generally recommend uh, uh, that patients avoid uh, um, sexual intercourse uh, for about four to six weeks. Uh, the surgery is done vaginally. Uh, the sutures generally, or the stitches or sutures generally uh, dissolve in about three weeks, um, but good tissue healing requires about four to six weeks. In terms of taking a shower uh, after the surgery, I generally advise not to take a shower for about a day. Uh, we should avoid taking a bath for about two days and then can resume uh, those types of activities. I recommend strongly uh, that people undergoing a sling really get active as soon as possible, uh, that is to say resume walking and light activities as soon as possible. Are there any lifting restrictions after a sling procedure? Following a sling, patients will generally feel quite good uh, within a day or two. Uh, it's generally recommended uh, to avoid heavy lifting, 20, 25 pounds, a couple of gallons of milk if you will, for about a month. Uh, that allows healing of the sling and actually avoids putting any excess undue tension uh, on the suture lines, on the, on the, uh, stitch, on the stitching that, uh, that we so, uh, so assiduously put in. Are there any times post-op when a woman should contact her doctor? There are several reasons to contact the doctor after uh, a sling procedure. Uh, one would be the, uh, uh, if the patient begins to experience pain with urination, um, uh, bleeding in the urine that wasn't present previously, um, uh, difficulties uh, urinating, that is difficulties getting the urine started, or, or even just as importantly, if the leakage all of a sudden becomes much worse uh, following the surgery uh, as opposed to uh, what it was like just prior to the surgery. So those are the things that sh should, uh, should alert the individual to call their surgeon uh, because something else uh, might be happening.